If you're a prostitute, I'm a tart. I'll do it for free. <laughs> 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 you do some coughing in your long long video as well, Havadi. You're right. Yeah, that's um, it's getting better, but I have uh, it might be some long COVID or something. Um, but it's I had the flu here early on, and of course I, I took a test we had laying around, and yeah, it turned positive on COVID, and I've been coughing ever since, like this dry cough. But it's uh, it's getting better, but of course. Last night I did a lot of sanding. Of course, uh, I've been uh, drinking a lot of water and probably breathing sawdust doesn't help. So, yeah, probably. Are, are you afraid of being burgled at the moment, Glenn? I couldn't figure out what the noise was. Sorry about that. And it's I've accidentally turned the Ring doorbell video camera on. I'm thinking, what is that bloody noise? <laughs> probably it's very weird. Done. It's very windy outside as well, so it's uh, it's doing some rattling about. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on there. (laughs) I wondered if Michelle had gone into the workshop. She went in there last night and did a uh, dovetail joint. She said, just want to go practice a dovetail joint and came back with one. (laughs) (laughs) Something I've never done. (laughs) So when when she's going to start her own YouTube channel, I don't know. She should. She really should. Um, she's off to Rubio Monaco to doing a ladies' day, and um, she's booked on to go 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 and see that. She, she's really looking forward to. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Yeah. yeah I'm more of an Osmo guy myself, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, it's re- it's really important that you say the complete uh, name, not just Rubico. It's Rubico Monaco. <laughs> At least if you're an ambassador, yeah. I have heard from sources I'm not going to disclose. Yeah. We'd better behave ourselves because we've got an ambassador coming on next week. So yeah, I'm hoping he's going to bring the Ferrero Rochers with him. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done a dovetail joint, both of you? No. 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 I never plan on doing it either. It really doesn't. Well, it looks all right, but I mean, it, it it doesn't look decent enough for me to put the work in to actually make one. I mean, no. they invented screws yeah. and pocket hole jigs. I really yeah. want one of those. I'd probably, I'd probably do it on the uh, router if I was going to do a dovetails, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, that I could do it on the CNC, of course. I can yeah. chuck out dovetails left and right. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I had a CNC and I could do dovetails left and right, I probably would. <laughs> I built a drawer only made by dovetail joints. <laughs> yeah. It's not a single panel on it. It's just only dovetail joints. <laughs> so the thing that's been giving me big difficulty at the moment is doing some finger joints on the table saw. And it has really been doing my head in and to the extent where I even made a new table saw sled because I dropped the other one a few times, so it was a bit wonky. But I mean, finger joints, if they are not tapered, if they're straight, if you make them with a table saw, isn't that just a dovetail joint? Just a longer one? Well, it's not. It doesn't fan out, does it? Like a dovetail. <laughs> yeah, but it, it does. Uh, but, but, uh, but, sorry, what? <laughs> that, that makes sense, actually. I never thought about that, the dovetail and the shape of it, because I also see in the one it doesn't fan out, and they still call that dovetails, but yeah. Yeah, in Swedish it's called. It, it, it would translated would be a, a salmon knot instead. Yeah, that <laughs> makes perfect sense. <laughs> salmon, <laughs> s- salmon is in the fish. As in the fish, yeah. So I think it might be the the uh, what's it tail? called? The tail the fin, of it. Yeah, the, yeah. the fins of it. Uh, so yeah, it, it took me a while to to realize what was actually uh, what Fair the enough. double was in that. <laughs> I mean, it would be it would be nice to be able to do it, but then uh, the Australian um, YouTuber, the Woodfather, he did that. I think he did a dove. He cut a dovetail by hand every day for thirty days or something like that to get good at it, and he got good at it. But man, that's a lot of 
cutting to two and a lot of swearing and a lot of wonky stuff yeah. at the beginning. So I feel like time. I've, I feel like I've got to give it a go now. Now the missus has done it and she did a decent job as well. So yeah, can and you can film it and then just not edit it and just put it up. It's easy content. <laughs> Come on, well, do it. Or you can have a dovetail off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who is best, me or the missus? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> go down that route. She can. <laughs> Come on, Michelle, I know you're listening. <laughs> Make him do it. <laughs> oh, no, so I've been having enough difficulty with these uh, finger joints. I actually got it to work really, really nicely. And then it's a practice and then put the piece of teak through and absolutely ruined it. So, oh, fuck. So I had to re-mill some more teak up and uh, I've gone with mitres in the end. But I did film the I did film me doing the finger joints on a piece of pine, so that's coming out as a short. I say a short because I've had three projects running concurrently. I've not kept a note on how much footage I've shot, so my short's a minute and a half, which is really long for one, for one of mine. I like to keep them for about 30 seconds. I don't like to waffle on too much. Yeah. I haven't actually been making a lot of shorts lately. Um... <laughs> We're making lots of longs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Going a different yeah, I do plan on getting some painting done this week, so maybe I could uh, keep focus on producing a couple of shorts. I think you've got some material to cut up as shorts as well, haven't you? You've still got your, your gingerbread thing as a possible short. There's the sparks from your... Yeah, but I've done that. And the sparks books. video, is yeah. uh, that, that would be nice. How to ruin your lens. This is how you do it. Why I just think it'd cool. be really interesting. I just want and to see if it gets two and a half thousand views the same as mine in KJ's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe I should do that. KJ got subscribers with his, though. Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, two subscribers recently, but of course I lost two as well, so I'm still at the same numbers as the last <laughs> four months. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Yep. I'm still creeping up very, very slowly. Of course, I've become a junior partner now. <laughs> the overlord Extremely has uh, joined the board. <laughs> <laughs> so I've not got f- full partnership like you have had. I've become a, a junior partner, is what I'm calling it. That gives me the right to have members and a shop, um, <laughs> something else that I'm not going to do. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what is the, what do I get when I uh, sign up as a member? What perks do I get? Um, I get the perks of talking to me every week, face to face. I already uh, have that. Oh, so yeah. I, I need yeah. something more to sweeten the deal. Uh, I've got I've got nothing to offer you, mate. Nothing to <laughs> offer anyone. <laughs> Glad <Don't>, out. <laughs> you have to work on your sales pitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Why would you want something in return? <laughs> yeah. But that was really hard because uh, when I all right, I, I'll try this membership thing. How it works and all right of uh. The, the standard is that, all right, most people, they choose three levels. And then, of course, uh, you have to differentiate them. And how do I do that? And, of course, then you have to make a lot more content for those tier for it to be worth it. And it's like, oh. So it, it's hard enough uh, making separate things and behind-the-scenes stuff for the, the Patreons. So, uh yeah. I'm thinking uh, if you're going to have several member tiers or, and on several platforms. I think Fix His Fingers was on to that subject as well. It's, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you're going to um, portion and grade all your content to, to fit all those different <laughs> platforms, you are, you're probably spending more time managing that than actually building something. Yeah, that's going to be hard work. Um, how are you doing with your patrons, by the way? How many, how many of you? Did you get any more or? No, it's two, but they're two steady. Two. They they yeah. they haven't left yet. Yeah, so, so that's, that's good, Gary. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I'm giving them some teasers every now and then, but yeah. there's there's no schedule to it. But uh, sometimes I film something and oh, this should be nice to post to them. 
So you've got you've got three different tiers, haven't you? What have you promised your pupils? Oh. Well, um... his firstborn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a really expensive that's, tier. That's the last yeah. tier, yeah. Um, I, I think the first one is just uh, being prioritized in comments and chat and so on. And then on the second, it's uh, some behind the scenes. And I think the last, which is the Hell Quarter initiative, I, I think you also get decisive rights uh, so you'll actually uh, be involved in the design process if oh, wow. it's it's so long ago since uh can't even remember but I, I haven't got any members on youtube so that's just a, a practice run from my side to see how it works setting it up oh, okay and of course on the um, on the patreon i have three levels as well the first one is uh, behind the scenes and so on don't really remember what the second tier was, but the, the third tier is the billionaire tier. Uh, of course, <laughs> you couldn't set one billion, so I had to figure out how much that is in a month uh, and then for a certain amount of years. And uh, don't really, yeah, well, you get to brag that you have your own YouTuber. I think that's basically <laughs> it. And of course, I, I might be persuaded into uh, you can actually get to own the hell quarter once it's done right and in, in, in 30 40 years in 50, <laughs> 50, 15 iterations <laughs> and that's that's a, a reward <laughs> that's a good question actually maybe it's more of a punishment yeah to be allowed to be storage well yeah mm. If you only, if you only pay for the first tier, you might actually end up owning the hell quarter. So you you would like to step up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So KJ, how's your uh, editing coming on? You said you got three videos, three videos in the edit, didn't you? Just I have three videos filmed. Yeah. Uh, I uh, or was that including that? Yeah. So I have two videos two projects filmed yeah no that i haven't started editing yet because... just send me the footage and i have them up by tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> no because uh, i'm trying to to go back to my uh, uh thinking of uh, release schedule to have to differentiate with the projects between videos so i don't have uh, an axe and axe and axe and axe <laughs> Yeah, back to back. <laughs> Try to switch it up a bit. So, the the last one was more or less woodworking, mostly woodworking. So now we're going with the knife along. That's metalworking mostly. So then I want a wood one, or something else. That's something that isn't metal. Uh, and uh, both of uh, the ones I have filmed are mostly metal. Uh, so I'm gonna sneaking another one after after the knife along and then then publish so i get the snowy content for like may or something in the end i think <laughs> yeah who cares who cares as far as i know it could be snowing still in sweden in may yeah it's still it's still snowing yeah uh, now, now it's it's starting to melt away we got like three four degrees plus the last couple of days so now we're here uh, now it's an ice everywhere more or less but we still have some snow we're up to about gone. 10 degrees but bloody windy about 40 50 mile an hour winds at the moment you might notice it when you're doing the edit tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's stormy go climate change <laughs> Yeah, I think we went from minus 30 two days ago on, I think we saw plus eight, plus 10 today. Yeah. So God. now of That's course so everything weird. is melting and it's ice on the roads and so on. So I think on Monday, everyone just stayed at home, like closed schools and everything because they were expecting chaos. So I've seen some workshop uh, shots from you today on Instagram, KJ. Are they from the weekend or have you had a day off or? Um, I, I, I've taken some time off because work is, uh, I wouldn't say slow, but it's, yeah, 
nothing much, much happens because other parts of the process are in a disagreement on how to do things. So I'm just sitting there twiddling my thumbs more or less and waiting oh, for them okay. to make up their mind. And I'm doing a bit of admin, you know, those those things farthest down on your to-do list that you don't really care to do, but you have to do it sometimes. Uh, but uh, as I have flexible work hours uh, and a lot of hours on that account as well. I just nip away to the workshop. I mean, it's three meters away from my <laughs> from my work <laughs> desk, so it's not that hard. Nice. <laughs> so no one really notices that I'm gone, and yeah. it's, it's all, 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 all fun, I'm fun sorry, and should, fine. <laughs> should we have kept this quiet? No, no. It's uh, I mean, it's uh, perfectly legal, and uh, I'm not I'm not billing anyone for that time. I'm just. <laughs> I think I have had 86 hours on that uh, flexible account, so to say, and you can have a maximum of 100, so I have to use them up uh, so I don't overfill the account, so to say. Fair enough. So it's good. Yeah, I, I took uh, like two or three hours today, I think it was, and I actually managed to get all the work done before it started raining, so it felt really... <laughs> <laughs> but like I, I maximized that. Oh, it's been it's been raining here today. I've had uh, I've not been to work. It's been great fun. I've been in the in the workshop, and then I keep nipping in the house to say hi to the kitten. <laughs> <laughs> then back to the workshop, and then back to the kitten. It's great. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's a decent day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the if workshop only got therapy. paid for it. <laughs> I know. It's, that is a shame. <laughs> when you spoke of uh, of patron. Howard, it made me remember that I actually did a patron purge after New Year's. I went through it and, and actually, yeah, uh, reconsidered some of my uh, <laughs> because I I think I paid about fifty five British pounds a month to patron to different things. Ouch. So yeah. I. I went through and okay, this this person hasn't done anything in the last year. Okay, this person I I kind of like, but to be in the lowest tier, that's like like a quid a month or something like that. I mean, patron itself takes most of that, so the yeah the, the person uh, on the other end doesn't really get anything. So in that case, I said I said uh, I'm I'm canceling patron, but uh, what's your PayPal account? And then I I sent like five years worth of, of cash just by, <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah, that's a decent way of doing it yeah um, as a as a farewell gift so to say yeah i i think i'm currently down to one i'm just uh, supporting wesley treat on patreon also because he produce really good videos just for the Patreon community behind the scenes and it's really enjoyable and I really like his kind of dry sense of humor I, I feel we have uh, the same kind of workshop humor and then is, that this, on, on, is that his channel the, name Wesley Treat or yeah yeah he's okay. nice. pretty nice yeah he's a sign maker i think that's what he do the most and it's uh i learned a lot from his videos and i actually made my own sign after i saw one of his videos and i have several sign related videos or projects i want to do based on things i've seen him do i'm down to 12 people Gosh. Uh, uh, I, I was at 16. You are the dream Patreon yeah. supporter, yeah. <laughs> Who did you drop? Uh, I'm not <laughs> that for mine, that's uh, something I only tell my patrons. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll sign up. <laughs> oh, don't bother. I will never be there. It's too much. That's a way of racking the numbers. It's just you, uh, you make an agree with someone. Uh, I'll give you a thousand dollar every month if you give me the same. We both equal out, but of course, the only one winning on that is Patreon because yeah. they take their percentages. So. Yeah, I mean, they, they, it's a, it's such a simple thing to have 
I mean, it's a sim- really simple idea at the at the core of it. Yeah. To to crack that idea in at the right time, I mean, they're making so much money; it's not really, it's not even funny. Yeah, and I mean, they, yeah, the the hardware and the infrastructure for that, as once you've done the programming and got everything up, it goes is really low effort input for what you actually get out of it. Yeah. Some patron worker out there now screaming at him saying it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I come home stressed up to the nines. This is not, yeah. not a bloody easy job. <laughs> Keeping I, that I, server royaled. <laughs> yeah. I had a friend who worked. worked Wiping his tears with dollar bills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that was the feeling I got from my friend working there. That is not it's a pretty cushy job in that that sense it's a, there are worst it jobs out there i think most likely yeah, yeah any it job would be terrible for me <laughs> <laughs> i'm terrible for the employer <laughs> <clears throat> i'm sure they have some shrubbery or something you can <laughs> i'd be i'd probably be good at testing the computers <laughs> yeah, you, you need a control on the, group yeah. on the breakability yeah <laughs> Why would anyone click there? Well, it <laughs> seems like a fun thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> if I it's shouldn't really click a... there, why is it an option? <laughs> I've used these metaphors myself, uh, but they are kind of starting to to fall for death airs. Um, when my dad or my parents run that... Uh, uh, computer company they also did courses for people and this was in the 90s where a home computer was relatively new for anyone anyone basically but of course if you were 50 plus it was a really hard learning curve at the beginning so there was a lot of senior citizens uh, coming for like these evening classes and of course how do you explain a computer and how it works to them? And of course, that generation, of course, they know filing cabinets. So of course, that's your folder structure, of course. And and your RAM memory, that's the size of your table. If you have small RAM, you have a small table. So if you're working on something, you have to put things aside more often and bring it up to the table again and work on it. It's really cumbersome. So you want a big table. You want a lot of RAM. I'm and listening. Course, I'm listening. Yeah. And of yeah, course, the, stor- the, sto- <laughs> the, st- the storage is actually the, just the numbers of filing cabinets you can fit inside your room. And it's like metaphors like that. And it made perfect sense, yeah. of course, in a Windows environment where you have actually folders and so on. But if you try to tell something, if I try to mention a filing cabinet to someone today, they're like, what? It's like, <laughs> yeah, filing cabinet, like drawers where you put files in. Just what? Huh? So yeah, <laughs> really doesn't work anymore. There's yeah, a lot I mean, of knowledge there. It's... We've gotten the same part. The, the I mean the classic the save icon being a, a floppy, but now we also folders being actual folders. Yeah. <laughs> People, <laughs> I mean a lot of young ones probably haven't seen a folder folder. No, <laughs> that goes in a filing cabinet. And it's 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 been a rage now on Instagram where. We, I think it's parents basically asking their kids, how do you mime picking up the phone? Yeah. And of course, the three of us will probably do this. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense to the newer generation about are trying to be a cool surfer doing this? Yeah. No, I'm talking to the phone, <laughs> just <laughs> hanging it up angrily. No, it's like, now there is, I mean, and then there's a generation that does this, of course, with the phone. But now they're just doing this. They're, they're like, the they're, like they're eating yeah. a Subway sandwich. Like, uh, or, yeah, I'm not, not going to go there, but yeah, yeah. It looks ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how I talk on my phone. It's always like that. And why, one of those. why doesn't the phone uh, actually have a, a picture of some, some cheese or sausages or something that so it looks like a sandwich when you're holding it like that? <laughs> the app should do that. Feel like yeah. oh, you're talking like it's a sandwich. Let's That's, make it look like a sandwich. That sounds more like a phone case problem to me. <laughs> <Could be. laughs> it's a still phone... horrid. People go walking around with their speaker phone up and talking like that. It's 
so annoying. Can you imagine yeah. if the, the fake food phone case thing took off? What it would develop into people holding up to their mouths, there'd be all sorts of things, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you get the hen party phone case. Yeah. Might be, might be. Yeah, you start start designing that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drawing that image all my life. <laughs> oh, so that was sure. that rocket was. <laughs> <laughs> So I had a, a number one crude mistake this this week, where I burned myself on hot glue in a way that I never done before. That's Clu- clues in the name. Yeah, but it, it's usually not that hot. I mean, I you I often get hot glue on my fingers, and it's not that bad. But now it's like it's a, and I've been <laughs> I'm sitting here playing with it instead of a fidget toy. At least it's quiet. <laughs> yeah, doing my best not to pop it, and I'm really proud of myself for not doing it yet. I just saw that and thought I'd have popped that ages ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm keep uh, it's it's close, but I'm keeping it. And then it, it and it's more or less it wasn't in in vain, but why I did why I was using hot glue was for uh, that project. What is that? Yeah, what is that? You can't even see what it is. That's the problem. <laughs> so I'm gonna send you uh, in the in the WhatsApp group a close up of it, so you can actually see what okay. it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you pointed at that uh, <laughs> oh, microphone awesome. thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pasty sign because it's I wanted pasty. one as well, and you can't <laughs> even read it because it is blurry in this. So yeah, but that's that's a bit sad, isn't it? Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, it's the gone! It's gone. Gone. It's gone! Oh no! I just no more pasting, no party. It's over there. It's over there, hanging with ah. the toss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thomas uh, Mellow Fire um, sent me a, a reel today on um, Instagram, and it was a pensioner had been arrested for literally somebody bought the last pasty in the shop. And this pensioner got so irate, he'd run them over with his mobility scooter. <laughs> <laughs> he was arrested and they seized his mobility scooter. <laughs> As they should. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shame that we can't tell what it is, KJ. It looks awesome. Yeah, Pipes I... up. Yeah, so I'm a bit I'm a bit disappointed at everything. It looks like also looks like there's a tunnel in your house. Oh, it's really thick walls in the basement. It's well okay. insulated, then. Wow. Yeah, they, it's uh, added insulation on the um, inside as well. So, yeah, it's... Is, it's... That, is that some sort of air duct? Uh, what part? The, the past design, it looks like it's in a tunnel. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's a window outside. A window oh, on, okay. On the ground oh, I get you. Right. So, it's, I mean, this, uh, these walls... There's not so much point the... in having a window underground. <laughs> No, it's a it's a little it's a little nook there where uh, where birds and uh, frogs come to die or try to die. <laughs> but this is the the one of the oldest parts of the house, uh, like over a hundred years old. So the walls are really really thick. Why is that? That could be a project. You could build a small staircase outside, so all the frogs who jump in actually have a way of crawling <laughs> out again. <laughs> I just try to keep them out instead, but it doesn't always work. I usually it... see see them uh, just leaning against the window and or hearing birds flapping around there. So then I got They're just jumping go down, and... knocking on your window, saying, "Is it midsummer yet? Can we join in? Can we join in this time?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We <laughs> got some great feedback on that on the Instagram. <laughs> So John from uh, Jam Woodcraft, he, he commented and said, uh, and they call us weird in Scotland for reading poetry and <laughs> on, yeah. on Burns Night. And then uh, Kev Sharkey commented and said, it looks very similar to the people, the Morris dancers doing the Maypole dancing in England. And I said, shh, nobody needs to know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've seen some videos of some uh, Morris dancers, yeah, it's... Uh... 
interesting. Yeah, that's, that is well weird, but I don't. Not everybody takes part in that. <laughs> They're a bit scary, I think. Yeah. Well. <laughs> if i was uh roaming the evening streets uh, alone and some morris dancers just yeah. popped up i would probably cross to the other side of the street yeah. <laughs> just to be on the safe side <laughs> literally so i did uh well it's not a crude mistake but i did uh a mistake of course i um I think it was uh, before Christmas, I ordered uh, the metal cups that uh, were mounted on the candlelight holder. But of course, they, I ordered black ones, but the company sent me brass ones. And of course, I complained on that, but they didn't want them in return. So just refunded the money. And of course, I ordered from another company. Black ones uh, should be identical uh, by the look of all the measurements and the pictures. But they weren't, so now I also have 50 black ones that I can't really <laughs> use. So if anyone needs uh, candlelight holders in brass or black, I have well what probably was... half the world's supply by now. <laughs> what was wrong with them? Whether it's a small um, one or the, the, wrong, the wrong shape? or uh they, The diameter was a millimeter larger and it wasn't as high so the when you jam the candle in there it doesn't really stay upright it just tilts oh. to one side so yeah it really doesn't work so i need to try for a third time to see <laughs> we've just got the wrong, wrong candles just need to get some fatter candles yeah, i could but it's i'm trying to do what there is a standard of is it 27 or 28 millimeter or something like that which is the standard out of the store candles i've seen people do a thing where they melt the they light the candle and put a few drops in the candle holder and then stick it in i mean it's a, it's a bit out there radical thinking and all that but yeah it work. is and of course uh trying to make something that you're planning on selling and then of course i'm gonna sell you this uh, overpriced uh a designer thing and the first thing you have to do is to uh, spend a lot of hours uh, modifying your candles to fit there um what you, what you need to do is to find some candles that fit that holder and then sell those for more money as well yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, or, that's or you just uh, you sell it for uh, no, you, you just put at least three candles in the package, and by the time they've used all those three and they realize you can't get any other candles well, it's used. You can't return it now. <laughs> I can see, I can see the drip of candle yeah. wax and so on from the candle. So no no refunds, mate. <laughs> yeah. if, 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 if you want the candles, you've got to buy another holder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you should be in marketing. There's a position open. <laughs> uh, if you it's try already, to, it's already here, mate. <laughs> Just if you try to side. engrave a candle with a laser, how would that go? Ooh, let's find out. <laughs> All right, because then you're going to have branded candles. Yeah. Oh, it's a shame. You know, just, just before Christmas for I'd done the office, I was in the workshop recording these podcasts. We could have tried it. <laughs> branded candles. Yeah, that's a niche, but yeah, that would work. I, I, of course, I see the... You get the Christmas ones, and you also got uh, the Christmas calendar candles with the numbers yeah. on, but th that is something that is probably... <laughs> put on in post but yeah some yeah i mean there, there are those who are, are carved out i think but what else do you need a countdown for like for retirement or something like that a really <laughs> big candle <laughs> so that's a huge fucking candle i'm, yeah. I'm afraid <laughs> oh well, that's really funny having candles or like have like 50 <laughs> each of my yeah here you have a pack of 20,000 candles for your retirement <laughs> I mean, that's uh, a good one. Oh fuck that one blew out i've got to work i've got to work another two hours now <laughs> yeah. yeah when you when you get to your retirement age you have to blow out all the candles and if you miss one oh, you start all over again <laughs> <laughs> be a pensioner that would be something yeah 
sounds like it's nice from all the makers who are pensioners. Yeah. I mean, it's dead income. Pay down your house, hopefully. All the time in the world. Uh, you can... You can have the grandchildren for as long as it's fun, but when they start crying, smelling, or something, you just uh, return them and go back to your workshop. Yeah, that sounds yeah. nice. And you want your your partner to uh, continue to work, so you get your the days off. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, the two of us home alone the entire day. Oh, well, that's a... <laughs> Oh no, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you Scandinavians, you're awful. I can't wait to be at home every day with my wife. <laughs> Me in the workshop, her in one of her hobby rooms. <laughs> I think that's. I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. We have some small. Uh, overlaps uh, in interest areas, but not enough that we're going to be uh, stumbling over each other's feet. So I think that's... Uh, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, As long as you have big enough house, so you don't as you say, have to be on each other's feet, that's probably fine. Yeah. I think that's the key to any relationship though, isn't it? Is respecting each other's space and you know a little yeah. bit of time to yourselves. Yeah. I think so. And we have been talking about it also that we're looking forward to traveling a bit again. And it doesn't need to be large travels far away, but it, it's something if, about the phase we're in now with small children and everything. It's uh, going away for a week it just needs so much planning. But I mean, as a pensioner, it's like, uh, ooh, there's a nice uh, something in the... You have to boy to go in Copenhagen or some something, and you, you could just uh, head over for a couple of days in the weekend. You you can't really do something as spontaneous as that now. You need to plan it uh, half year in advance. And did you just make up a new word? Again, <laughs> Copenhagen? No, it's it's no, very no, common. No, no, I've heard that one. <laughs> it was a heard a bird, heard a bird before that. Uh, he just uh, pronounced Gothenburg in the in the correct way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> Speaking of Gothenburg, uh, if you ever go there, Glenn, uh, be, pre be prepared to to hear your he for people to laugh when they hear your name because it's a it's a thing <laughs> that is said in Sweden that everyone's named Glenn in Gothenburg. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> that, I had to look this up. Uh, to that stems back to the 1982 when uh, the football club from Gothenburg won both the Swedish Championship and the UEFA Cup, and four players in the team was named Glenn. Oh, wow. <laughs> so from that, uh, they started <laughs> chanting uh, at the football stadium, everyone's called Glenn in Gothenburg. <laughs> and it's, it's stuck, and it's still something that people say, but they don't. most people don't know why they say it. <laughs> All right, so then in 2024... I need to go to Scotland and find that ginger festival. Glenn needs to go to Gothenburg uh, to find <laughs> to all the glands. <laughs> yeah. And then KJ And I stay at should... home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we report back. <laughs> it's not fair. I want to stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> I like staying at home. <laughs> uh, I yeah, built everything it's... I need here. That's kind of the thing. We, I mean, there's always a struggle when we realize, all right, we need to fill up the fridge. Who went to the store last? Oh. All right, if if you go to the store, I can put the kids to bed. No, that's not enough. <laughs> it's, like, it's, a, it's a struggle to like you go outside of the uh, four walls. If I go to the shop, stuff. you've got to put it all away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and load the dishwasher. I actually enjoy going to the cho shop because then you get some some alone time. I just pop in a podcast and walk around, pick up groceries. That's yeah. that's sort of nice, actually. Yeah, we shop at Aldi, and I do. You, do you shop at Aldi ever? We don't have that, so uh, okay. It's a uh, it's just a little bit stressful on your own at the checkouts there because we do a big shop every week. 
and then you have to load it on the checkouts and they're so fast there you just start to either throw it all in your basket or have all your bags ready for it so it's just really stressful on your own i can't normally load the conveyor belt up in enough time to get down to the other end to pack everything we have scanners instead so you swipe your card in the and then you scan all the things and then you and you put it yeah. back and pay. you can do that in some supermarkets here yeah <laughs> That's I, I I'm never going back. That's the best thing ever. You don't have to talk to anyone. Yeah. Have um, you been I don't know it's our local decathlon, which is not that local, but our nearest one in Nottingham, has um this thing where you you buy all your things, you put the put them in your shopping basket and then you just put that in the till area, in the self scan area, but you don't have to scan anything, it knows what's in that basket. Yeah. That's that's a I mean we have things like that where you just put the stuff and then it takes a photo, and it's, it feels... It's like magic, isn't it? Yeah, it's magic. Yeah. I don't trust it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I don't have control of the situation, so I don't like it. The first time it happened to me, I put the stuff in the uh, in the space, and all these things started coming up, and I said, she, she asked one of the shop assistants, and said, this isn't working, all this stuff's come up on my thing. I said, I've not even scanned anything yet. She said, no, no, it's your things. That's how it works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What, what really annoys me is some of the checkout counters, of course, if you go to the man counter and then you have uh, four cartons of milk, they just press did you just four. Say them, sorry, did you just say man counter? <laughs> yeah, ma- a man counter? Don't you know what that <laughs> yeah. is? It's like one. So they have to shave is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, but it's it's really annoying for the people who work there. They can just, all right, you're buying four of whatever, and then they press four, and they just scan the one item. But at the self-checkout, some of them have that control weight to the left side. So, of course, if you scan one liter of milk, you have to put it down because it, he then measures the added weight, and, yeah, that referenced the weight of one liter of milk. Okay. But, of course, I'm trying to be effective, so if I have four cartons of milk i just take that one and i just swipe it four times in front yeah. of the scanner and then that doesn't match up with the weight and then and a red light comes and a person has to come and swipe his card and it doesn't work and he has to press a code and he has to ask his supervisor and then <laughs> you're, you're, you're spending more time at the self-checkout counter and you have to talk to more people than you would have if you just went to the regular counter and yeah so i'm not using those stores <laughs> but at some point I'm looking forward to it when the kids are old enough I can send them to the store and of course I just have to factor in that they also use some of the money to buy candy and so on but that's, yeah. that's a small price to pay to don't have to go to the store and get a surprise oh what are we going to eat this week <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs only nice <laughs> oh, I, I love that I, ha- I haven't seen many episodes but there is a show you probably have it over at you as well, where they give the teenager full control of the family budget for a week. Jesus. And it's like, uh, some of them are really responsible, but most of them, and that's the funny episode where they don't really know what's going on whatsoever. So, oh, we get 10,000 Norwegian crowns so it's for a week. Oh man, that's amazing. And I go and buy all that candy and everything. And then they come home over it. So there's the electrical bill. So we can't pay that. So they turn the power off the, in the house. So, okay, now you have to sit in the dark, cook uh, on the candles and whatnot. And then, of course, you have to pay for this and you have to pay for that. But we don't have money for that. You know, you spend it all on candy. That's that's what we do every week. We want to buy candy, but we also have to pay our bills first. And then we see what's left. And then daddy needs to buy some new tools. And then, of course, uh, it's very little candy money left. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm still waiting for those. Uh, I've actually checked my spam folder now, but no proposals for uh, for lasers. There are a really? lot of propo- there are a lot of proposals in the yeah. spam folder, but uh, not any one of the lovely oh, nice. ladies and gents uh, offering all kinds of services has offered me a laser. <laughs> That's, <true. laughs> That's really weird because I've had several offers, but I've already got a laser, so I just turned them down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet KJ has been offered loads of 3D printers as well, but he doesn't want one. <laughs> no, yeah, because yeah, he has an uncle who has one. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> 
No, I think uh, uh, every company has heard my my stand on this, and no one is offering me any, anything. <laughs> You think you say the word hate too many times in the episode for people to give you things, yeah, don't you? I think so. <laughs> I love anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just uh, trying to be a contrast to you two, so you look you, you look better compared to me. Oh, thanks, man. I mean, I'm a I'm a prostitute. I, I like anything for the right amount of money. I mean, I, I could swap out my entire shop for Ryobi if they just pay me enough. I mean, <laughs> I'm all green now. <laughs> if you're a prostitute, I'm a tart. I'll do it for free. 